Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be doing an update video on my double piercing. Um, so I was going to do just a three week update video but I decided that because I really want to change them. You can hardly even see them. Uh, baby, but because I really want to change them, I decided that I would just do like kind of combine two videos in one and do this. Basically, first thing I'm gonna do is wash my hands, then take out these earrings, um, just clean my whole ear, take out these earrings, clean them again, put them in your comment, and I'm gonna put it in the end. That's gonna be a long process. But yeah, okay, so I just um washed my hands. So first, I'm gonna get the earrings that I want to put in. So they look like this. They're just basically little silver balls. Not sure how you can see them, but yeah, they're basically just silver balls. Um, so yeah, so while I'm getting everything ready, I figured I would just talk um about how the piercing has gone. So basically, um the piercing has healed up really well. Um the first night of my piercing um or like of having them my ears were just coming out of shock so they started to hurt and they were they i mean they didn't exactly hurt it wasn't sharp pains it was just dull pains but really strong like surging dull pains the first night and i didn't know which ear to sleep on it hurt so bad so i had to lie on my back which was so uncomfortable but i moved my sleep so i woke up on my side and that side hurt for the rest of the day and even into the next day um and so it just it has been so so annoying um dealing with that and even now there's still a dull pain but i figured i want to just change these up my body is really good at like healing stuff but i know three weeks isn't enough time and it's actually not it's been over three weeks um i got them pierced on a saturday and now it's been Last Saturday was my three weeks, and today is Thursday, so Thursday night, so it's almost, almost four weeks, so I've almost had them in for a month, so I figured I would just do them now. Um, so, I'm gonna order them. Now, this is actually, like, a little bit of this stuff, because I ran out of this at about the third week, um of using them so then I just put some more water in here before it was completely gone and I was able to make basically essence of this stuff um so oh god I already soaked the tissue on so basically how I clean them is how I just kind of stick them out and I soak them on this side um on the front side for just a little bit and um just wait like 30 seconds or so okay so then now i will do the other side okay so now that that ear is done and everything i'm gonna make sure that i have these earrings cleaned and prepped because i don't feel like it's the time to test how long i can keep these earrings out before they start to close up so i'm just gonna make sure i have these all prepped with i'm gonna clean these guys with the rubbing alcohol and then i'm gonna take out these ones clean them again and then do it now i i i don't know i really want to change them because they're not as noticeable as i would like them to be that sounds really weird but anyway that's just a bunch of rambling so i'm gonna go ahead and clean these guys okay guys so i have the earrings clean but basically oh god i think i'm gonna take them out now this back is really hard to get off I'm going to try to get these off off camera because I don't want to spend five minutes trying to do this and we'll see you later. I said I'll catch you if you fall, if I forget them all, got you up off of your feet, put you right back on your knees, just so you could take advantage of me. Okay, you guys, so I got it out, I got it out, um, it's out, it's out, it hurts, it's swollen, but it's out, uh, this is came out with it a um, nice piece of uh gunk it hurt it hurts still uh, it's getting really swollen and it's like stiff it's really stiff so i think i'm gonna give this one a break just for now i know it wants to start healing but i'm gonna give this one a break okay you guys so blood kind of started coming out not too bad but it started coming out and 
um, I was like really worried that this jewelry wouldn't go in, but it did go in. So I'm gonna put on um, um, earring thing. I know I haven't cleaned it yet, but I really just wanna make sure it doesn't start saying close up, close up. Um, so I'm just gonna put that in there and yay, but now I really need to get this one out. Okay, you guys, so I finally got the back off, finally. Oh my god, you guys don't know how much of a relief this is, honestly. It's like, yeah, so these are definitely going to be cleaned, um, these original earrings. But here's what the hole looks like. It's very, very, like, stiff right now, and it's, like, it really is hard, um, pretty much just because all the blood is swelling. It's super hot, <laughs> um... And yeah, but there's what it looks like here and it really doesn't hurt that bad once I get it out. Um, but it's just these nasty like jaw claw things, I don't even know, um, that keep the earring backs in. Cause it's not the actual like getting the earring out, it's getting the back off of the earring and it hurts. Oh God, no, put that in and it really does not hurt. It feels like putting in a regular earring so now i'll put the back on this one which it hopefully will come off easier okay so now these little things are on and they look like a lot more noticeable to me personally these ones it basically has like a pointier end and it has more of a harsh indent as opposed to this one where it makes it easier for the backs to get off it doesn't have those on the like starter earrings i think that's what they're called so it, the back does not come off. Hey guys, so I'm editing this the next morning and I realized there is basically 19 minutes of footage that I have that is basically me rambling and talking and saying the same thing over and over and over again. So um, I just wanted to come on here and say that it did hurt a lot and um, it was not the funnest, but um, I'm glad that I did it. Um, I really like the look of it. These go a lot better with my, um, with um, other pairs of my earrings and stuff like that, so, yeah, um, but on a different note, I did want to say, um, that, uh, I am extremely, I feel extremely bad for McKinley, her horse Ruger, um, recently died of botulism, I believe, and he was only four, so it's really, really sad, but, um, so I just wanted to send my love and thoughts out to her, and, um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.